Welcome to the North Dakota Showmanship Video Series. This video is designed for beef exhibitors and help them in learning the objectives of showing beef cattle. The first thing that you're going to do when you enter a showmanship contest is realize that showmanship starts from the time that you enter the, the arena. Having the proper carriage of the, head, or the animal's head, proper use of the show stick, and remaining good eye contact with the judge is very beneficial. Some things to keep in mind about how you enter the ring is that you want to make sure that your hands are positioned properly on the halter. You should have your left hand or your right hand on the lead strap right where the chain and the leather connect. If you watch the length of the lead strap, it should be short enough to where when it's in one hand that it does not touch the ground. And the show stick remains pointing downward. You will circle the ring one time, traditionally, and then the ring steward will ask you to position yourself within line. As the animals move into line, the first individual that's placed into position is the one that determines where the line starts. All following exhibitors will make sure that they follow in line and keep that line straight at all times. Never position your calf in front or behind that line. Any time your animal stops, the first thing that you want to do is to get the feet comfortable and set them up squarely beneath the animal. As you pull in the line, you will move the, the halter to your left hand, the show stick to your right hand, and immediately begin setting up the feet. Once the animal is positioned properly, it is good to find out where that judge is at and to remain good contact or good eye contact with the judge while never losing sight of what your animal's position is like. The show stick is designed to calm the animal. Lightly rub the belly of your animal to keep it calm and collected throughout the show. Some things to keep in mind about equipment. You'll have a show stick and again make sure that that is pointing downward at all times when on parade. And the other thing we'll look at is the use of a scotch comb. In today's show industry, we like the plastic scotch combs or the flat plastic scotch combs to move the hair on the calf. As the judge moves in to get close evaluation of your animal, they may move some of the hair on your calf. When the judge moves on to the next animal, take the scotch comb from your back pocket and position the hair back in the position in which you would like. Fitting is an important part of showmanship. There's various techniques and what should be clipped on an animal, but traditionally, from the front shoulder on forward, the animal is clipped clean, minus the ears, and then also some work on the tail to clean and flatten the tail head up, as well as clipping the top line of your calf to make it look flatter and wider. However, professional grooming should not be considered to be beneficial in the showmanship scoring manners. Cleanliness, however, is important. The things that they're really focusing on is how you maneuver your animal about the show ring. Watch this individual as he was asked to move in line. He moves forward about five paces, turns over top the nose of the calf, leads back to the position in which he had just left, and moves to the requested position from the rear of the line. This creates a hole in the line, and traditionally the judge will ask the next exhibitor to move their animal and fill that position. Notice as this individual pulls in the line that he remains um, proper distance from his animal to the animals around him. And the first thing again is to set that calf's feet up squarely. This individual moves out about the ring and the calf is very calm and collected on the movement and they are the judge is watching to make sure that that animal responds to the commands of the exhibitor. Again, when moving out on parade, move the lead strap to your right hand with the slack in your left hand and the show stick is in your left hand and pointing in a downward position. 
Various questions can be asked during a showmanship contest. How you answer those questions does add extra points to your showmanship scores. You will want to know the birth date of your calf, the breed of your calf, what its parentage is, the dam and the sire. You'll want to know the body parts of your animal and some things that you may want to change about your animal. Know what you're feeding your animal. This should be answered in pounds of feed fed per day and maybe the content of the feed, whether it is a texturized feed or a corn oat mix of some sort, as well as the hay. How you answer the questions is important. Again, as these individuals move into line, notice how straight the line is and that the calf's head is held in a high, attractive carriage at all times. The individual should, when moved to ask, should move briskly about the ring. Once the animals are in line, points may be taken away if the animal continues to move when not commanded by the exhibitor. By continually moving your animal, you should not need to be um, when positioned in line, you should not need to move your animal at all until requested by the judge. Always remain good eye contact throughout the showmanship contest. There's traditionally a ring steward in the show ring to help in the event that your calf stops or needs assistance in moving forward. Utilize the ring steward. Be courteous to the other exhibitors in class. While never, re never taking uh, the main focus off of your animal. Some things to keep in mind is when we go head to tail and an animal is pulled out of line, the remaining animals in line should move forward to fill that gap. Another thing you may look at is scissoring your calf. In this profile, the judge's side, the rear leg is positioned behind the non-show side. In this event, watch as the individual calm and coolly moves the animal forward in a large circle, comes back through the hole, and the other exhibitors create an avenue for this individual to move their animal without obstructions. We'll now move into some of the breeds and some of their identification points. Again, good luck with your showmanship skills and have fun.